Hey YouTube guys, today I'm going to show you how to do musical flashes using iMovie. So it's pretty simple and let me just show you how to do it. So what you want to do is open iMovie first and have something like this done. Yeah, so what you basically need is a fake gun and just point it and shoot it. So then what you want is the musical flash. So the website I got I got the musical flash from was footage great. I'll provide the link in description. Yeah. So then what you do is just copy the part you want right there. Yeah. So you see it's right here. And now you open your website. I chose the machine gun, a uh, muzzle flash. All these muzzle flashes are also available. Just saying. So what you do, you click on it, machine gun download right here, save, save, and I already have it saved, so like I don't really want to replace it or stuff like that. Yeah, so, here I'm using Opera, so this is compatible with Safari, Firefox, um, Google Chrome, Chromium, Rock Melt, etc. So, once you have the Musical Flash done, it it automatically saves to your desktop right here. So, yeah. And then, what you want to do is drag it here, or yeah. So as you can see, it doesn't drag here or here. So. What you want to do is drag it to your event's name. And as you see, now I have two of these. So once you have this, you drag it to the place where you want your musical flash to appear. Let's say I want it here. And this is important picture and picture you click on picture and picture and you just place it where you want it and that's basically it you press done oh and yeah if you're wondering how I got those options of picture and picture and green screen and blue screen and all these options down here also this is very necessary what you want is go to iMovie preferences and sh make sure the so show advanced tools box is always checked. This is necessary to do the musical flash because this is when the options for picture and picture and stuff like that come. Yeah. So that's basically it. See, that was a bit late, so what you can you can also shift it back or forward or something like that see that was really cool yeah so um rate comment and subscribe guys um if you have any problems i will surely help you don't hesitate guys and um ask me if you want more and just ask me if you want to know more stuff about iMovie which you're pretty confused about so thanks very much